Hello, my name is Jamie Smith. I live at 307 Cedar Drive in Loveland. I've lived in Loveland my entire life. I've raised five sons in an old house on Cedar Drive. I have a very deep connection to this place, and my family's favorite place in Loveland is Grailville. I have a very stressful lifestyle. I've raised five sons a great majority of the time as a single mother. Their father has struggled with opioid addiction his entire adult life. He's been clean for 10 years now, but the experience of addiction within a family is traumatizing. One of the most direct effects of drug addiction is the financial havoc that it wreaks on a family. I've had to maintain a full-time and at least two or three additional part-time jobs for my son's entire lives. I've obtained work in fields where I could spend my days and summers with my children to alleviate the need for child care and to be a good mother and a contributing member of society. I designed my life around spending time in nature with my kids, not only because it was all that we could afford, but because it was healthy and fulfilling, and it brought joy to a mentally and emotionally exhausted family. We could not afford memberships at Normandy Swim Club or Miami Hills Pool. We took our feet and we walked out of a house with a broken AC unit across the street and onto the trails that led to Grailville. We entered the cool woods and trekked down Grailville's paths across the meadows, past the farmland, back into the forest, and down to the respite of the cool waters of the O'Banion Creek. We floated our stress away in the creek and then whistled our worries away on the way home, just in time to let our tired dogs collapse and allow myself to get to work on time. The relationship that we developed with this land as a family has been spiritual and therapeutic. Grailville has provided my children a higher quality of life than was otherwise available to them. I am forever grateful that a private landowning organization was happy to share its blessings. Those blessings were able to be imbued into the community as the fruit of the work and the purpose of the founders of Grailville. I work at Mason City Schools with behavioral needs students. I see the results of holistic approaches to mental wellness in my daily work. Nature heals. The benefits to humanity from exposure to natural areas are diverse. They include health benefits such as optimum nervous system functioning, well-balanced heart conditions, better vision, lower BMI, less fatigue, and obesity-related issues. But the wellness benefits spill over into mental health wellness, and that directly affects our communities, making them a better place to live with less crime and greater levels of cooperation. Exposure to nature lends human beings better emotional regulation and even improved cognitive performance. Time in nature helps improve suffering from depression and reduces stress levels. It increases problem-solving skills and creativity. But beyond the blessings that this precious green space has gifted my family and can offer to others, there's an even greater good that this space can do in helping to heal our planet. Grailville is the last of the Mohicans of the green space in Loveland. It is the last expansive bit of farmland left that has not been developed. And now, with the annexation, Loveland citizens have the rare opportunity to ask of our leaders to do something visionary and brilliant that will be lasting for the people who inhabit this place. The size of Grailville is imperative to the issue of area sensitivity. Area sensitivity is a scientific term related to the notion that a variety of wildlife requires a certain amount of area to thrive. If the landmass on the south side of Grailville is saved from development, it is substantial enough in connection to the north side to create a significant impact on wildlife, especially grassland bird species. In addition to the ecological benefits related to biodiversity, a natural area's view shed has its own intrinsic value. Compromising the natural pastoral view shed, view shed of Grailville would have an irreversible effect. The losses of eradicating this gem of a natural area are too many to count, and they would be permanent losses. Your committee and the elected officials in Loveland have an opportunity tonight and in the coming months to do something visionary, to become part of a road that paved a way to ensuring the value of the place we have here for generations to come. The value of the Grailville land to, to humanity and wildlife is immeasurable. Loveland has the chance to establish a precedent for other municipalities where we made a bright decision in choosing long-term value over short-sighted gain. 
Places such as Indian Hill have ensured the long-term value of property in their region by setting aside green spaces of up to 2,500 acres in permanent trusts. When Indian Hill City Council first made the decision to purchase this large tract of land and place 25% of their land mass aside in a preserved trust, they were heavily criticized. But their plan was brilliant and it's paid off for that community tenfold. Those council members are now regaled as heroes. Green space is a solid financial investment. This is the city of Loveland's last chance to save our hometown from becoming a future place with no value from green space. I implore you to vote no tonight. Grailville is a sacred place with countless attributes and possibilities. Thank you.